Hello everyone, just Goran here and welcome back to another real life zoo tour. And today I'm doing things a little bit differently. I have a guest on a guest on. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to famous Zoo Tycoon Planet Zoo YouTuber Lukoshi. Hi everyone. It's Hi. Me. <laughs> and uh, today we are visiting Zoo Park Overloan. And we're jumping right in because this zoo Matt lads have a <laughs> red panda and small uh, Asian small clawed otter habitat before you even enter the zoo. I think I, it's the exact same reason we both fell in love with Zoopak Overland the instant we got there because it just I, starts with the very it, best animal alive. Uh, ex 100%. I just I knew I was in the right place when a red panda just Man, crossed over my four? head. I never uh, yet even they had, saw them. They there. had uh, they have had children pretty recently, I think. Man. So, and I've I think the like Asian small clawed otters also uh, had offspring like the week after I was here. So <laughs> that was because of you. Yeah. Absolutely. The, the week after I was here, they got in the news with like a wave of births. <laughs> it's like ten animals uh, gave birth that week. So uh, yeah, here we are in the gift shop uh, slash reception slash restaurant. They just have everything here at the front. Um, it's very open. It's very open. You've got your your copyright free African music <laughs> playing in the background, um, and as we head out, we get straight into things. Oh, We're just throwing so all the best things at you right at the start. Yeah. So welcome to Bil B Boulder Beach, which very, is very very kitsch. Uh, <laughs> it is theming, but I it's love it. Great theming of a beach. It works. Uh, also here the. Um, Animal births are being worked on, so to see. <laughs> what a zoo! Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I sh probably shouldn't have a camera with so much zoom because I keep zooming in on things <laughs> and you don't really see the zoo anymore. I'm just like, ooh, animal! <laughs> but um, excellent. here we have a boat with some probably nests under there as well, judging by what we're seeing here. Um, but yeah, this entire area is themed after a beach, as you would have it. Um, <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> and there's also some crabs on the floor here. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even seen those. I love it. Yeah. Uh, no, what? But honestly, I really love this walkthrough area because, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, because because the nests and the water uh, are like on either side of the path, so there's a really high chance that the penguins will be crossing the path and yeah. you actually get really close to them. It's super cool. Um, you really feel like you're walking in between them instead yeah. of just having a walkthrough exhibit, which is just you walking from the side. Like Bakes exactly. of Badass, I believe. Yeah, that's Cut. pretty much. I mean, the last time I was at Bakes of <laughs> it was a penguin who made their nest in the middle of the <laughs> guest <laughs> walking area. As they should. <laughs> I like that you're so, taking the adventurous road here. It's, uh, exactly, yeah. So this is also something that I'm familiar with from Bakesberg and I absolutely love. Uh, these yeah, maybe little... you should clarify that uh, Overloan is right. by the same people. And... Yes, Overloan is, just like Dierreijk, Overloan is by the same overarching company, Libema, um, that owns the Bakesberg, uh, Dierreijk, Overloan and Aquazoo Lilwarden, which hopefully will go <laughs> sometime. It's so far away. Um, yeah. But yeah, you will see a lot of the same elements uh, as in Beeksberg in here, um, which yeah. I'm don't have that big of a problem with personally because I like it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, personally, it, I like it better in Overlum because Overlum yeah. is way more small scale and really in Beeksberg you have a very big wildlife kind of feeling with very big open uh, grass fields and stuff. But here mm. you really have the forest feeling. Yeah. Love yeah, we'll definitely see that later on as well. Yeah, especially um, because here in the start you have the, the Australia area. Yeah, that's where we are. We're <laughs> with in the, the outback. camels, obviously. With the camels, <laughs> which I think is really cool how they explain it. Because um, yeah, they are explaining like, oh yeah, escaped camels uh, re -wild into like just being wild ro free roaming species in Australia. And that's why they're here. Man, the kangaroos look at you when you're in here. <laughs> it creeps <laughs> me out so much. Oh, I love. I, uh, so for me, this is the first time ever seeing a kangaroo. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, really? I've never seen. I only wallaby. Uh, Man, I don't think I've ever seen a kangaroo before. So this was really cool. <laughs> That's crazy. And I made sure to make it to the feeding. <laughs> and when um, you were there, did they also have the free roaming emus? 
Um, I didn't see any emus. Which... When I was there, there was one Emu. right next to the path, and it yeah. scared me so much. <laughs> I was like, I'm not walking past him. Oh, that, that would be so cool. I love emus. Uh, but yeah, I lost my train of thought. But oh yeah, the the Bakes of Bergen style oh, thing. Yeah. Uh, I do think Overland has a bit of its own identity, especially with the more themed areas and going yeah. around the world expedition, uh, which I think is really, really cool. And we'll see more of that. So, I mean, we're already kind of seeing it now. We're in the Australia area, really. After just being in the beach area. And, and we were in the beach area, now we're, yeah, and the Australia area has, you can see some like aboriginal poles. Also, this is the uh, swamp wallaby, by the way, <laughs> just yeah, to go so cool. past everyone. Um, but yeah, you can see like, there was a, like a rusted windmill and you have some aboriginal pillars that you can see on the left over there. So yeah, there's some slight Australian theming. These guys were at it for like <laughs> four minutes. It was great. <laughs> Uh, I don't have all four minutes in the video, don't worry. <laughs> that um, would be great. <laughs> that's why the video is so long. <laughs> the video is long enough as it is. Half an hour of kangaroos fighting. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at them. They're great. Man, the, the right one is way more into it than the left one. Nah, I mean, I think they just got tired after a while because they were. They kept <laughs> oh, going. Oh, they switched at it. sides. <laughs> <laughs> side, right. yeah. Uh, oh yeah, so here the last last animal we have in here is the Bennett's wallaby. So there we go. Just one more overview of the area. I also love the it's inclusion really of the flags. Yeah, it is fun. Um, I, I don't, I don't think I've seen a zoo do something like that. They probably yeah, there's sure. probably more zoos that do it, but this zoo does a lot because here you already see the Brazilian flag. Yeah, exactly. Because we're heading into the next. Area around the <laughs> Which world. is the Argentinian area. No, the Brazilian area. Brazilian area. The Amazon. The Amazon. Yeah. So, here we also have another no show. Uh, I think they were indoors because it was pretty chilly. Um, but we don't see the South American tape here. When uh, did you go here exactly? I went on. Uh, it's like two weeks ago. Crap. Maybe more. So, was, like in February at least. Yeah, it was the week before the new semester started. Okay. So, yeah, the first week of February, basically. Uh, but yeah, you have had bundles. Cappy Capybara. <laughs> <laughs> They're all bundled up. Also, a lot of offspring here. Yeah. Um, also, first time seeing Capybara for me. Man. Um, yeah, but you have only been to like three zoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, lots of new animals. I had never been to a any zoo that had a lot of South American animals. So, That's crazy. Uh, at the end of the day, we get to Madidi, and that was like, I went uh, nuts. Uh, <laughs> I loved yeah, it in there. I haven't been to Madidi yet. Oh, you're gonna love it, it's great. Uh, absolutely, it's just built for so, yeah. me. Everything I love about animals is in there. Can't wait to see it in here. But yeah, this uh, habitat has a bunch of viewing points. Yeah, uh, yes. We've already had like three, I think there's even more. Uh, on the left here, we can still see the Australia area. There was also another adventure trail. There's another one here. Um, I'm gonna do <laughs> oh, a little bit of um, for it. adventure <laughs> ranking here. <laughs> I don't like I don't like it when the adventure trails force me to miss out on stuff. <laughs> oh, so like that one, I would have missed this like four viewing area <laughs> to the capybaras. Yeah but you so, would have seen another viewing point of the kangaroos. Yeah that's the, the thing. Ah <laughs> frustrating. I do like it when they offer you extra views into things, which we'll also yeah, see later. Yeah, to the Hates Burgess Bush. Wait, you haven't been to Burgess Zoo, have you? I'm, I'm planning on it in a, in a, in a uh, end of next month. I'm going there with <laughs> Eben. Yeah, good, because he hasn't been there either. <laughs> yeah. Good. But yeah, uh, here we have another viewing point of the Australia area. This is a cool viewing one. point. Yeah, yeah, I got... I didn't realize how big these yeah. cameras were. <laughs> it's crazy. In the exhibit too, the exhibit is also really, really big. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely open space. And I love that the kangaroos can get pretty much everywhere, yeah. um, from what I could tell. And the geese. <laughs> and the geese, yeah. But yeah, there we have the our, our Australian camels. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So yeah. And now uh, you're going so to enter my favorite area of the zoo. Really? Yeah. Well, I think yeah. so. It's hard. It's such a great zoo. <laughs> but I love this. 
Yeah, this is definitely something that I love about this area is just all the bamboo. Yeah. You feel like you're in a jungle. The winding paths, it's just, very, yeah, it's just a jungle. Yeah. Oh man, I so, love this so much. Here we have the uh, the crab-eating raccoon. Ooh. I uh, I think they're spooky. <laughs> yeah, they are. I don't like them. few zoos in Europe which has them. Yeah, so I got to spot him later on in the day. I love them. He was pretty elusive. So this is the only shot I have of him. Yeah. But I think of all the raccoons, this one looks the most like a robber. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I feel threatened. Um, but yeah, there's another viewpoint of the Australia area, but it was covered by logs because they were trimming a bunch of trees all day. Yeah. I do have to say that it's a lot better in like spring or summer. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, here's some backstage, uh, backstage peak of Ooh. the Australia area. Um, but yeah, now we get to all of your winding paths and little islands. Yeah. This zoo has a bunch of these. Just yeah, so cool. many little primate islands. Oh, look at the bamboo in the or, background. Or monkey islands. Yeah. So yeah, um, I had to cut here. <laughs> but here we have the map. I don't know if I've shown that yet. Uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> on, the, on the right, we have the, uh, the gold-bellied capuchins. Which are pretty neat. They are. They have uh, kind of something like in Beeksberg, the red panda habitat. You have those same kind of barrels and stuff, which I thought. I think a lot of zoos have those actually. It's just yeah. a very standard thing. These are all indoor. Those are the uh, the black-capped squirrel monkeys and the red-faced spider monkeys. But those creep me yeah. out, spider I monkeys. They're Look pretty cool. So this sign is actually pretty. Limbs. This sign's pretty neat. It talks about how some of the spider monkeys here used to be pets, uh, yeah, that's cool. and they were rescued, and now they're part of the zoo life. And kind of teaches you about how zoos help <laughs> those animals. Ah, oh, this view. Get a home that allows them to have a more dignified life, basically. <laughs> but yeah, here we also have a little indoor. Oh, it's view. you. It's me. Yeah, you can see how. <laughs> Dumb, I look with my camera. <laughs> um, it's great though. Uh, we'll see later why my camera uh, is very useful sometimes. <laughs> okay. Looking but um, to that. I love this this yeah, little man. bridge. Uh, just oh, the climbing gosh, frames cool. being all natural and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's great. So yeah, here we have the um, what's the English name? I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, the colored peccary. And here we get to see this. This is where I had the realization, like, oh wow, this bamboo is so freaking cool. Like, <laughs> I can the, actually see all you the, think it. All the thick stems, <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, yeah, wow. it's great. It's so good. So it's crab eating have... raccoons again, right? Yeah, this is the crab yeah. eating raccoon again. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, just all the sticks and twigs. So he was yeah. probably indoor in the backstage area back there which we'll see in a bit here as well but here we have another view of the colored peccary from this bridge which we're all uh, just kind of roaming about <laughs> they're pretty cool I like they them. are great <laughs> <You oink. laughs> yeah, it's just cool that you have a lot of different viewing points of all the exhibits in this area mm -hmm. but they uh, don't come at the same time because the top here, the tape here exhibit we had a minute ago you yeah. just had four viewing points but nothing in between yeah and here you have the crab eating raccoons then you have the capitals then you have that then you have that yeah and then, it's... then the raccoons again and, and here we're back at the tape <laughs> number <laughs> five there they are <laughs> well except that they're not there no. and we also just saw the uh, little box which is the indoor area of the crab eating raccoon which I thought was Pretty neat to see that it's just it's just a small box. All you need. Here we also see probably the backstage of the peccary. Um, I tried to get a backstage peek, but <laughs> it's, it was not a lot to see there. And I may have gotten distracted by whatever this noise is, but <laughs> um, here we have the. I wrote it down somewhere, but I can't find it. Uh, I think it's 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 a goose. <laughs> Of sorts. I thought there were Sarima in there. 
Maybe they used to be in there. Oh, it's the Cape, the Cape Baron Goose is what we saw. Oh, last time but I was there, I swear there was three months, but maybe Yeah, because the Cape there. Baron Boot Goose is supposed to be in the Australia area, so okay, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah. Man. Here we have the, the Kawadi. Great. Which are also really cool. Had you seen Kawadis before? Nope. Uh, I mean, I've seen them in Encanto. What? <laughs> 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 They're like, man. Crazy. Everyone I saw in Kanto with was like, oh, it's red pandas. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, those don't live in Colombia. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I loved how how active <laughs> they were as well. They are great. I love the, the Dutch name is Nosebear. Yeah. <laughs> basically. So it's like... That yeah, makes sense. They have a nose. Yeah. Unlike normal bears. <laughs> yeah, I mean, normal bears don't have noses. Yeah, this is definitely one where I was too distracted by the kawadis to actually get a good <laughs> recording of the habitat. Um, but you can kind of see, like, there's hot wire around. Yeah, this exhibit reminds me of a, of a bigger scale version of the old red panda exhibit. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, and with more climbing frames, because that, yeah, that habitat didn't have climbing frames. Yeah, the habitat was, like, like, three meters. <laughs> the old exhibit was really small. Yeah, the new one's great, except there's only one red panda in there right now. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah. So uh, over here we have Vicuna and Greater Ria. Uh, the Greater Ria were a no-show. <laughs> Bummer. I was a little unlucky, but yeah. I was also very lucky, we'll, we'll, which we'll see later on. Exciting. Exciting. Yeah, I'm, hype I'm hyping up some things here. Yeah, good. <laughs> But yeah, Man, you should out. totally go back in summer because mm -hmm. it looks way, way cooler. I probably will. Like I honestly, like without getting too far ahead of ourselves, this <laughs> is probably one of my favorite zoos. Good. Even <laughs> you've been even. to like three. <laughs> it's at <laughs> least top three. I'm, 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 I'm getting there. I'm, I'm visiting a lot of zoos the coming Good. weeks. But that's I'm cool that you've not it. been to many zoos because then these are very authentic videos. Mm -hmm. That's cool. First impressions. Exactly. Yeah, no, the only zoo I've been to exactly. frequently is Blydorp. And uh, <laughs> Outside of Beekseberg, but everyone knows that I've been there. <laughs> You've been there like twice a month. Yeah, maybe, uh, like twice <laughs> a day. <laughs> but yeah, here we are, I've got another fun oh, adventure let's trail. Go. Let's go. Doing these while trying to hold my camera. <laughs> I would love to see you fall, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Um, I like this one because it also provides you an awesome view of the, oh, uh, wow. the Lemur Island. Itampolo. I've never been to the Lemur Island. Every time oh. I get there, it's closed. What? Oh, yeah. I think it's pretty it, recently renovated. Yeah, so. I think so. But I believe they closed it very early on the, yeah, in the day. Let's rewind because... Oh, what's going on? <laughs> because I really liked uh, this path as well. The, we are entering the Jangale, yeah, which I'm not... I'm confused <laughs> at the logo. So every area has its own logo, which is really cool. Uh, they're like on all the signs and you can see them in the gift shop and whatnot. The Jungle logo is the Indian flag. <laughs> but these are Siberian tigers. Yeah, and you're the Russian flag. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know why the Jungle logo is the Indian flag, but... That's a bit odd. It is. But... Here we get to see something. It's it's very big, so <laughs> uh, except for this viewing area, which is really yeah, cool. I love the next viewing area. It's so cool. Oh, there he but is! But here we have the white tiger. You may have seen it in the intro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is uh, a first for me. <laughs> oh man, you got very lucky. I got very lucky here. Just as I arrived, it arrived. Um, I didn't know that the stripes of the white tigers are actually brown. Yeah. That, that was pretty neat. Um, and I like that this zoo... I mean, it's an EASA zoo, so they're required to do it. I think it's a requirement for the EASA to... Like, if you have white tigers, no breeding, and you have to have them for, <laughs> like... You have to do something educational with them. Like, yeah, they don't want you to just have it as a, like... A trophy <laughs> because that's the problematic thing about white tigers they're very sick they don't get very old they like i think one in only one in ten of their offspring survives 
Uh, but they look cool. But they look cool, so <laughs> a lot of people are like, yeah, let's make more of those. Exactly. Uh, yeah, here we have a cool sign about uh, tigers. species. <laughs> like, well, tigers and lions, because it's explaining like, oh, what's the species? And oh, cool. if they breed, then they can't get offspring that's yeah. like uh, fertile. That's not the word. <laughs> this viewing point is so great. Yeah, I love this. Uh, yeah, also, awesome. we just we just passed it, but I love all the custom yeah. like, lamps and stuff. Really, <laughs> they have a little water feature. Isn't that great? I think that is that a water feature. Or is that just? Yeah, it's like a pump. But <laughs> yeah, it's just a pump thing. Um, yeah, the other ones over there. They have two of them. You have a crazy zoom on your camera. <laughs> yeah, it's a sixty times zoom. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so this this really reminded me of the Beekse Bergetag yeah, habitats it, it as well. Um, but yeah, we can see those custom lamps. It's so quiet in the zoo, that's great. Yeah, that's it was cool. a really quiet day. I mean, it was really cold. <laughs> My hands were everything. freezing. Yeah, that's why the tigers were so <laughs> active, probably. Yeah. Yeah, in the back we can see the backstage area for the tigers as well. All uh, ivied up. I think they replanted everything because this is all very young foliage. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, and there was some wire around some of the planting we saw earlier, yeah. so it's still kind of being protected a bit. But yeah, see, there you can see the jungle Aid logo. Yeah. It's the Indian <laughs> flag. I, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, here we have a sign of the white tiger. It's explaining like we don't breed them anymore and whatnot. Um, and then in a bit. We get to see something pretty, pretty neat. Um, I was told it, it's not everyone's favorite sign, <laughs> but in the back there you can kind of see it already. We'll gather in a second. It's a it's a sign that's talking about white tigers and like, oh, what is it? I think I remember making fun of that sign, but not remembering what actually is on the sign. So I'm excited <laughs> to see what's on it. <laughs> so yeah, just one more shot. Of him. So the the two on the other side there's another tiger habitat and the, there's just a, a regular tiger <laughs> there and they were constantly looking at each other through the fence in the in the bush. Yeah. So that's why he was over there. But here we have the the tiger sign. I think it's not supposed <laughs> to stay stuck like this because after I touched it, it uh, it didn't go back to this. But you can slide this thing and you can change the fur of the tiger to. <laughs> white and I think that's I think that's neat I love I love interactive education I think it's a lot more fun than just a what? regular sign just anything you can cool, add interactivity wise I think is a plus so I think this is really neat and it's just explaining yeah see there, there you have it it doesn't stick so it's like oh something's wrong with me give me the right fur and then you can choose which oh. one <laughs> and I think if you choose white it's just like oh this, this, this isn't great. <laughs> I'm not sure if this will help me survive in any way. <laughs> and you but struck yeah. gold. You really saw all the tigers active. Yep. I mean, one of them was just lying around. But yeah, so this is the, the second tiger habitat. This is a bit smaller. Um, I'm not sure if they always separate it like this or if sometimes they put them together. I don't think so. Man, look at his fur. Yeah. It's so rough. In Bakes, do they also have Siberian tigers? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, I think it's most zoos. Yeah, most zoos have Siberian tigers. Uh, Aqua Zoo is getting their tiger area as well soon, uh, which I'm hearing really cool stuff about, so I can't <laughs> wait. Um, and then they are also getting uh, Siberian or Amora tigers, as they also call it. But yeah, uh, we're about to enter Nongorogoro. <laughs> Um, but first, I wanted to have a quick look into the this viewing point of the West Africa, or just the Africa. <laughs> and here line. you can clearly see the Bakes of Bagging. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it is like, I called it a bootleg version of <laughs> it. Um, but yeah, this is probably this path we're entering now. I love this. I, l I love the, what do you, whatever you call that thing, traffic thing, and then this sign. It's but this path part of the zoo is it's so useless. Look at this. This is horrible. This path is boring as hell. Yeah, it's. I, was, I hate it when zoos do that. It it's being worked on. It is. It's 
uh, later this year, this area is getting African wild dogs and the meerkats oh. are moving here. Oh, that's cool. So that's probably why it's really empty yeah, right that now. Will help. <laughs> but for now, it was I was walking here, I'm like, okay, yeah, cool, I can, I can see the backstage of the lions. See, so here you can see something's happening. Oh. I don't know if that's going to be the habitat quite, but... Yeah, he was like, oh, look, it's the lions backstage. Okay, fun. But Do they still only have males? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a bachelor group. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot. Like, Dia like, also has a bachelor group, but they have, like, two. And here it's, like, four or five, I think. Yeah, they have a lot of them here. So, yeah, here we can see uh, <laughs> out into the farmland. <laughs> the uh, edge of the zoo. But, yeah, here's a uh, fun little viewing point, it, an attempt at uh, reverse habitat immersion with the uh, concrete, uh, it works. Oh, is that a thing? I mean, I guess, right? That's cool. Like you're standing on the same concrete as yeah, the, I've never thought about the it, lions. That's, that's interesting. It works, yeah. And they're just chilling on the concrete. They're just chilling on the concrete. <laughs> they, <laughs> I don't think I've seen them anywhere else throughout the entire day. Um, but yeah, over here we can see the road going all the way to the giraffe stables. And over here the the land uh, goes up quite a bit. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> but yeah, here's another view of the lines. We can see them over there. And you can go have a look at the what the backstage is like as well a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, like, let's see, yeah, that's four, four meals. The boys. <laughs> the boys. Lovely. Chilling on a slab of concrete. <laughs> <laughs> like all boys shoot. <laughs> yeah. So, I was at this point while walking here. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, wait, these signs I think are also new. Because you can see kind of a mix of two different style of signs throughout the zoo. I think, I think the old ones are like the... We'll, we'll see them when we see them. I think those were the new signs. But yeah, up to, up to this point, yeah. I was kind of like, okay, that was not 100% <laughs> worth my time. But I have to say, when I got up here and I looked to the right, I think I'm going left first. So I started saying this story way too early. Um, <laughs> but when I, when I got to the view of the giraffe from here, I was like, okay, this was worth it. Uh, but yeah, first... To make the Jeep habitat even more bootleg Beeksebergen, like we also have an elevated viewing point like the Beeksebergen used to have. They actually got rid of this viewpoint in the Beeksebergen because uh, they weren't a fan of it. But here yeah. it's, here it remains. So uh, yeah, yeah. now we see... It's great. Like, look at that bus! <laughs> it's so <laughs> cool! <laughs> I absolutely love this. Yeah, this is great. Just a view from down there is amazing as well. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Absolutely. But, yeah, just a nice open field for the uh, for the giraffes. And there is one. Uh, the zoo has reticulated giraffe. Might be worth pointing out. Uh, Beeksebergen has a Nubian giraffe, I think. So, yeah. There you go. Just imagine sitting in that bus with a giraffe. Like, <laughs> right outside. That'd be so cool. I mean, in the Beeksberg, of course, you can see a giraffe from your own car, but <laughs> still, this captures that same feeling. Uh, so yeah, here's another viewing point of the, the other tiger habitat, uh, with also really cool reverse landscape emerging with this log. Yeah, the log see. straight through the glass. Yeah, the log <laughs> going through the glass. I think that's really neat. It is. Hey, yeah, you can see some more of that tiger habitat, if it's a little enrichment feeder thing and whatnot and uh, and that is it for jungle so jungle is just the tigers which <laughs> <laughs> is kind of interesting the famous indian species <laughs> <laughs> um yeah here we're gonna have a little backstage peek as well so what a transition <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you can see the the, the gates for the tiger habitats and uh, and the backstage and stuff for those who are interested in that <laughs> trying to capture what i can <laughs> here we have a little toilet building super interesting 
Very interesting. Uh, but yeah, this is the base camp, which uh, was closed, but this is a place where you can order some food. And there's oh, some look at this. awesome little picnic island with a little yeah, ferry great. boat rope pulley thing in between. Um, and of course, the bus. <laughs> So you can order your food here and just move along to the bus and you can have a meal. Just have your lunch in a, in this bus, looking at the giraffe. I didn't bring any food with me so I couldn't have lunch here. But if I had food on me I would have sat here for a little while. Yeah, that's fun. Just look at that bus, a whole bunch of dials. <laughs> I do like, like... They made sure that there's like tables and whatnot yeah. inside. <laughs> Just a picnic table. <laughs> yeah. Just go have a seat. Great. That's a cool view though. It is. The 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 windows are a little dirty, but <laughs> that's just theming, right? <laughs> it's a dirty old bus. Yeah, yeah, sure, it's just theming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god, yeah, that happens. <laughs> that happens at the bus and DA like as well. <laughs> uh, I only just now laid that connection. That both the zoos have a bus. But this area is great in summer when it's very busy. Mm. It's I can imagine. Really I think it's really cozy. Yeah, it is. But yeah, now we get to. Yeah, I think this was built in like 2019, uh, the Lemur Island. Uh, we're heading to the Madagascar area for a little while, which is called Itampolo. Yeah. And uh, here you can actually see the uh, old the old directional sign is still on the ground. It's like These must have been installed like literally days ago or something. <laughs> because the old, <laughs> yeah, the old things are right there. Uh, but yeah, uh, no petting the animals. No uh, feeding them and whatnot. Uh, that's it's exciting. Uh, this is new for me as well because we've never seen lemurs. All right. Yeah, it is. I, I'm I'm a big fan. I really like it. Um, it so looks great. We've got a little view over here where you can walk over up to. I mean, I was drawn here by the black and white rough lemurs, which uh, I think. I think it's a new species for me as well, because Beeksbergen used to have the uh, belted lemur, which oh. is different. Uh, I mean, there's so many kinds of lemurs, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a little no trespassing oh, sign, which them. I think is a cool, th like, it's theming, but it also tells you, hey, stay on the path, you little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, here we have the, uh, the black and white rough lemurs. They look great. Yep, they... Uh, our bestest friends with the ring tilt, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, I have to say, the, the lemurs were very uh, curious. Like, yeah. uh, at the Beekseberg, I have a feeling they all often like really stay away from you. I've never really been approached by a lemur before. Um, here, it was quite different. <laughs> well, honestly, it could be because the zoo had been closed for like a couple months, right? True, this was pretty near... Uh, reopening yeah. times, I guess. But yeah, uh, the idea of this area, um, because I've talked to the people who made it, um, is that <laughs> this is an abandoned pet store uh, yeah. like that used to sell lemurs illegally, but it's been closed down by some organizations. Uh, and this phone uh, was not working, but <laughs> what it should do is every now and then it should ring, and if you pick it up, it like someone tells you, the backstory of this area, like, oh yeah, this was a pet store and we closed it down. Oh, uh, can cool. you make sure that it's still closed? Uh, yeah, I think that's a really cool. That's awesome, actually. I love yeah. that. It's a great bit of theming, and it tells you exactly one of the biggest threats to lemurs, which is yeah. uh, illegal pet trade. Oh, and uh, the cool. lemurs, super active. Better. I've never seen lemurs jump around as much as they have been here. Um, oh yeah, of course. The Lemur Rescue Center is the main uh, charity organization that the zoo supports through the Wildlife Foundation. So, <laughs> I, I, just <laughs> interactions like that make this area so cool. It's like, it is truly an yeah. abandoned area and the animals made it their home, oh, which is fun. just. <laughs> I love 
Not it's so good. Cool. Yeah. So this is what's interesting about my camera. I have got this microphone with a big dead cat on it. Yeah. So that you know the wind doesn't ruin my audio completely. Oh god. And <laughs> this guy was very interested in my in my microphone, and I did not anticipate <laughs> just how curious he was, because over here he jumped on my shoulder. <laughs> Uh, so at that point I started backing away from the lemurs a bit because, uh, you know, they're, I'm not allowed to pet them, they're not allowed to pet me, you know? <laughs> exactly. But yeah, you've got also got a little indoor viewing uh, of the ring tilt over there. And this is the, um, uh, the Luc Aloatra Bamboo Lemur. Or the Lac Aloatra Bamboo Lemur, I think. Wait, what? So, we have a little bamboo lemur. Oh! It's, it's a little boy. So yeah, it's crazy how many species of lemurs are there. Like, if you ever look it up, I think there must be, like, at least 30. Yeah, <laughs> As I said, yeah. best They're friends. They're all great. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love yeah. bamboo lemurs. And I love uh, black lemurs. Those are cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. This is uh, pretty much it. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else left to say about <laughs> Ethan Polo over here. It's just really cool, really curious lemurs. And uh, I love it. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, <laughs> moving past that, here's the back. There's some more climbing frames That's with fun. Uh, sticks and whatnot. And over here is a little uh, foraging area. Just look back on the lemurs. <laughs> yeah, here's that little foraging area. So here you can also see, I think this is probably most, if not all, of the lemurs in one place. So that gives you an idea of how many there are. So there's like, let's see, five, six, seven, <laughs> like eight or something. And once again, very curious. <laughs> That's what makes these uh, walk through exhibits great, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that is fun. Yeah. There we go. Had a little sniff. <laughs> I put some. I put some uh, substances on my. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> Everything no. for the YouTube clicks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> that was your. She was in peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, here's an entrance from the other side. So yeah, that's actually something worth mentioning. This zoo uh, really pushes you to go in one direction. Like it's one route. Yeah. Um, if you if you go the opposite way, there's signs telling you, like yeah, oh, here we have another view of the the bamboo lemur. Um, but yeah, there's like, it's like there, blah, blah, blah. there's like signs just telling you like uh, for the opposite for the optimal experience, turn around and and follow the main route because Go here. yeah, this zoo definitely does its best to tell a story and to go around the world and through specific areas, um, and I really love that. Yeah, I love that. I, uh, that's yeah, it's just cool. cool. I do with that. Because there's a lot of educational value in that, in really having your uh, animals yeah, absolutely. together, and here's another view of the, <laughs> the bamboo lemur. Uh, but we also get to see the the little village buildings from the back. Bamboo lemurs are cool. Yeah, he was super, also like all the lemurs active. were super active. Yeah. It was great. But my luck has not worn out yet. Um, <laughs> Uh, so next up is uh, this awesome little sign, um, oh, which I thought was really sad. cool. <laughs> um, you've got all these little panels, and it's basically a timeline, uh, as you can see on top, uh, of Madagascar and all the and all the issues that are threatening all of the animals and wildlife in Madagascar. So here we go to like the 1950s or something, and we start having feral dogs. So People have dogs as pets, they escape, they go into the wild, they become feral, and they cause issues for all of the wildlife. Uh, then next up we have bushmeat, uh, people hunting wildlife to eat and sell their meat. Then we have deforestation, uh, loss of habitat, 
and cities are being built and all sorts of things are ruining everything. Uh, and then I think, then we have pet trade, another issue popping up. I was like, is this the end? Nope, there's more. Um, and then there's a, uh, a future, a, a grim future, like, oh, the entire city or the entire island of cities and everything is horrible. We must stop this. <laughs> uh, so support the Wildlife Foundation, <laughs> they will help us. <laughs> Um, the only downside to science like this is that you have to manually reset it. But other than that, I think it's really, yeah. really fun. Maybe it's cool to have these interactive signs. Yeah. What's also really cool is small details like this. There's a little sign that's like, don't release your dogs or whatnot. Like, oh, no dogs allowed. Because, yeah, dogs are the biggest threat to Fossa, which is the next. Which is the next animal that will... Uh, yeah, so I think dogs both kill fossa and also they kill the things that the fossa eats so the fossa oh, don't have yeah. any food. So that's why feral dogs are a really big problem. But yeah, this awesome, awesome little adventure trail again, giving you another different view of the lemur area. And this is the last big view we get of that. So really cool. Really big fan of it. Uh, so yeah, next up is the the, the fossa or the fusa. Um, also, I was here awesome. around feeding time, so we get to see uh, <laughs> what their tr the little carts look like. I thought that might be interesting to some people. Uh, also, a little backstage peek. Nothing, nothing really to Why see there. Why is there a little hole in there? <laughs> I don't know. Just for <laughs> it's, people it's, like uh, you. No, no, no. <laughs> it's 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 to put your hand through to get to the lock oh, on the, on the other course. side of the door. It makes sense. So, uh, but yeah, it's cool because of the this, visual. Uh, I love yeah. this. This is the fossa exhibit. Lots of climbing, lots of dense foliage because the fossa are a little bit shy, so they need to be able to get away. Uh, the fossa actually have a young, which I didn't see. Um, this is so cool. Yeah. This is something that yeah. you see in, uh, I think it's done in multiple places. We'll see it in Madidi later on as well. Uh, but this little stream of water, which originates in the habitat and it flows through the habitat coming out of the habitat and then going, passing under the gas path. That's so cool. I absolutely love that. Yeah, that's um, fun. So yeah, here it's, uh, it's a pretty dense. So gorgeous, love it. And uh, there you have the giraffes. There we have the giraffe plane. And a little Look at this. indoor viewing area, a little burrow. I'm not sure if fossa are actually burrowing animals, no but yeah. Clue. Here we have the fossa. There she is. She is. So, um, yeah. So Overdone's website said that this is the only zoo in the Netherlands that has fossa. That's not true. Besu That's, has them. Yeah, I know Besu has them. So, I mean, they're the only ESEA zoo that has them, I guess. <laughs> That's fair. So yeah, that was. Uh, oh yeah, we got we got another view of the fossa from up there, but that's pretty basically Itampolo done. So. The reeds are a bit high, so it's hard <laughs> to see the giraffe. The view from up here is a bit odd, because this is also one of those areas where you're like, eh, there's not a lot going on apart from this <laughs> viewing point. Yeah, over it's, here. it's, I mean, you get so a it better like view. A bit of a detour. Yeah, that's true. But you do, this is where you do see the little and stream it, originate. <laughs> and it's a gorgeous little viewing point. Yeah, just all the lushness. Yeah. I love it. I love the rocks. There's so much care put into it. I like that. Very well designed. Yeah. And then the, uh, you do have a nice view of the giraffe yeah, up here, though. True. You can look over the reed. <laughs> <laughs> there you have them. Amazing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just all the layers here. Yeah. It's cool. On the left, it's even better. Mm -hmm. Alright. There we go. So, yeah, about that. Uh, <laughs> about the extra exhibit that we're about to get to. So, that one has uh, the Zebu and yeah. the Debreza monkey, right? Yeah. How Do the Debreza monkey. Can the Debreza monkey get onto the giraffe field? No clue. Like, I wouldn't think so. Right? Is the remote? 
in between? There's no... Oh, there might be... I think that might there. be it. That might be an... I didn't see the mode, but I guess there might be one. Otherwise that... they can, but I don't see why they would. <laughs> I guess. Because, yeah, this is the, the Brezza Monkey and Dwarf Cebu. Which is a very odd combination, but I love it. <laughs> if it works, it works. What is this? Uh, oh, the cheetah. Here we have the cheetah, which is also just a nice little it's open field. <laughs> what did you say? I had too many, so they decided to bring them over here. <laughs> I mean, they have like 20 at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and they're the species coordinator, so they can just decide <laughs> yeah, where they go, I guess. Oh, they also have moles, I see. <laughs> the ground. But yeah, I love that you can just see their general walking paths. <laughs> love that about carnivore habitats. It's usually the carnivores. But yeah, this this habitat has also has a ton of different little viewpoints. So oh, we get to fun. all those. I love this. I love yeah. all the little huts. It's great. And things. And here you have the sign. It's like. Giraffes and the Brazil monkey indoor area Play this hard. way, so definitely want to see that. Fun. All these little clay huts. It's fun, yeah. Just, just all these little bits of theming really bring these areas to life. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it just gives the zoo so much more life. And here we have. Is this the viewpoint you mentioned, or was it the previous one? Not a previous one, but this one too, actually. Here you can see yeah. everything. You can also see the lemurs in the background. Mm -hmm. See this up here. Oh, <laughs> nice little 360. <laughs> right, so over there is a aviary. But we'll get I to that, that after we go inside here. So this was um, my luck peeking. <laughs> okay, not me not being able to open the door, or to open the door but... Um, here we have the giraffe indoor. Uh, this was later during the day. And you've got this elevated view. So you're basically, you're a bit above the giraffe, but if you want, you can be face to face with a giraffe, which is just, I mean, look at this. This is, my mind was blown. This was just the coolest thing that I've ever seen. Like you can just hear it drinking. It's so fucking... Uh. Yeah, it is cool. I read once that giraffe exhibits often have... Um, that zoos have to make a decision with the giraffe exhibits. If you want to make giraffes really cool and uh, big, then you have to f show them from ground level. And if you want mm -hmm. to have them be more personal and stuff, you have to show them, like, over here. And what Overlone does very cool is that at first you show them from... Uh, ground level so they are very big and stuff and then you get over here in the backstage and you are at eye level with them which makes them a lot more personal and i think it's very yeah. very cool yeah yeah it's just best of both worlds i guess huh? so yeah um here they're getting some dried leaves um and i spoke to a uh, employee and it's because in the winter of course there aren't any fresh leaves really so they just give them uh, a bunch of dried leaves so that they still get the proper nutrients so uh, I actually ended up helping him out <laughs> by shoving some leaves his way because he pushed them beyond the glass <laughs> but yeah at this point like I was just like oh, I could touch him if I want to <laughs> but I'm I don't think I'm allowed so I'm not gonna <laughs> but then the zookeeper showed up because <laughs> it was feeding time so, like, oh, just seeing all of this, just experiencing this. This was the luckiest moment I've ever had in the zoo, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I love how um, one of them is very forward. <laughs> I think it's a she who is just like, she wants all the treats. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what she wants. And it's in her hands. <laughs> <laughs> nope. But yeah. Uh, what's also really cool about this indoor area, which I'll show... <laughs> I'll show later on, is um, there's a little cart, which is a terrarium. And uh, there's a giraffe yeah. neck skeleton fun. in there as well. There is? 
Yeah. Yeah, oh, we'll, we'll see it in a, in a, in, in a couple seconds. Uh, this is so cool. I, I didn't really catch it on camera. I didn't catch it on camera too well. But, but uh, yeah, I fed a giraffe. Just the coolest thing ever. And I shouldn't have held my hand out though, because it bit me. What, <laughs> really? Just a little bit. Just a little nibble. I'm, I'm still waiting on my giraffe powers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, imagine. Suddenly you wake up with a very long neck. Oh Lord. god. I'm tall enough. I'm, all, I'm, I'm tall enough already. I almost bumped my head into everything. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> Dutch problems. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for the feeding. So, we've got a little, little thing here. And I, to be honest, I'm I'm really happy that they have it set up this way, like feeding them over here so that they actually come towards the guests. Because you could imagine them not doing that to not, you know not have too many guests trying to pet them. Because I imagine that would happen. But yeah, it does create some amazing experiences. <laughs> Alright, so this is where you can see that um, skeleton neck I thing. I have never seen that. I, I, I guess it's new. <laughs> and yeah, here we have the the little cart that has the Egyptian tortoise and the Bell's Dab lizard. And I love I love the, the, the terrarium in a cart. Yeah, it's a That's fun just, little terrarium. It's it's fun. It's a if it's a different take on a terrarium. <laughs> Something I have not really seen ever, so it's cool. And then here we have all the debrasas, they were inside. So <laughs> monkey monkey <laughs> monkey business <laughs> ensues, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, this is also really cool though that you are up in the trees with them. Yeah. Uh, in a way. Fun. Yeah, I think that's really cool. <laughs> Look at them. They were very curious as well. I love it. <laughs> I I I love the Brazza monkey because it, it just looks like a three-year-old drew a beard on a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, but yeah, and over here we have a uh, little aviary, which of course is closed because the bird flu has what? been oh, man. I love the bird the bird flu has been a thing for like yeah. half a year at this point or something. It's crazy. Um, Egyptian vultures. Uh, and yeah, oh yeah, this is really cool. Um, the zoo is temporarily sheltering some uh, vultures from Gaia Zoo uh, oh. because one of their aviaries collapsed during heavy snowfall. Oh yeah, uh, a while ago already. Um, but yeah, some of their birds are being held here now. Fun. Which, uh, and they also have dig digs, right? Uh, I didn't see them. They should be in here. That little sign a second ago had them as well. These would be dig digs in here as well, at least. Hmm. Which was odd, dig digs with vultures. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that just is just scared odd. shitless all day. <laughs> dig digs. Yeah, here yeah. again we can see the old sites <laughs> being taken down. And, and here we have some thick bamboo stuff again, yeah. which creates these awesome little peaks uh, into... That was for the cheetah habitat. And then here we have a nice little bridge, uh, which looks into... The habitat for the black buck, uh, Vietnamese sicka deer, and the Chinese muntjac. Oh yeah. But I've heard that this might be changing uh, into uh, ostriches and <laughs> uh, gazelle. Something. I'm not sure what the other one was. But uh, yeah, I guess they want to Africanize it. To yeah, that would make sense. Be part of the the Ngoro -ro -ro. Right now, it's a bit random. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're a lovely species. I love they my are. book. But, uh, yeah, so I love all these uh, little peaks yeah, into fun. the cheetah habitat. That's just fun, yeah. And what's cool about it is that you don't really see these holes from the other, like, main viewing yeah. areas. You don't really notice that there are other viewing points. So, yeah, that's really cool. Maybe we can see a little bit of the backstage. All the way in the back there. Uh, I, 
Do you know if this cheetah habitat? I mean, I guess it's also a bachelor group or something, right? Because otherwise there wouldn't be... Oh, I have no clue. No. I couldn't tell you. Probably. I, I, I guess otherwise there wouldn't be that many together. That's what I would think. Because mm -hmm. it's similar to the Yerike in that sense. But yeah, let me see the signs for these. And I think these are the old signs that are... Uh, oh, yeah. Slowly sense. being adapted. The new ones do look a lot. <laughs> I love sleeker. that you can just see very typical Dutch landscape in the background. <laughs> you mean flat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I I love that the habitat is just completely barren as well because you got a lot of grazing yeah, animals. Works. I mean, there probably used to be grass at some point. <laughs> uh, this truck is all plastered with all the logos of all the areas, which That's is pretty fun. neat. And here is the Nungoro Nungoro Conservation Center, which is uh, just a big viewing area for the for the cheetah. Oh man, uh, on the left they have cheetah with an H, on the right without the H. <laughs> oh really? Wait, yeah. I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. So the right, so one of them is the newer side. It's probably the right one because it's the darker brown one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The cheetah running. Don't see that. Surprisingly, don't see that very often. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's a big sign which yeah, uh, talks about the Wildlife Foundation, which is, of course, the main charity foundation that is kind of being managed under all of the zoos that are part of Libema. Uh, and this map kind of shows all of the, or most of the uh, organizations that they support and in what kind of countries they um, operate and which species they protect, which I think is really cool to kind of see that visualized. Yeah, it is cool. Just a uh, red panda network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just showing you uh, all the things that they're doing. So I think no wait, there's one one habitat left for Nungoro Nungoro. Um, no wait, there's actually more than that. I'm stupid. <laughs> But uh, this is also oh, really yeah. cool, Painted Dogs Crossing, because uh, here we have the Painted Dogs Habitat. So I don't know if this one's going away, or uh, like if it's being moved to the line area. Oh yeah, with the plane. <laughs> this one has the plane, yeah. Here My once head again. Is it? Oh, they got fed as well. Yeah, once again being at the right place at the right time. <laughs> My head cam is that the wild dogs just crashed here with their plane. <laughs> here <and> here. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't know if the, the wild dogs habitat that they're making at the lion area is going to be a new one or if these are going to be moved there. Uh, I guess that remains to be seen. But yeah. as it stands, I, I do like hey. this habitat. I like oh. the plane. It would be interesting what they put in here then. Probably more cheetahs. <laughs> <laughs> cheetahs everywhere. Hopefully hyenas or something. Oh, that would be neat. That would be neat. Striped hyenas? Oh, please. <laughs> please. I missed them in Bakersfield. They were so cool. But yeah, here's the last few of, of the, the cheetahs. cheetahs. It's also a surprisingly big exhibit, the cheetah exhibit. Yeah. At the first viewing point it looks big, but not as big as you see right now. It goes on so very far. Yeah, I mean, you go around it all the way, pretty much. Yeah. Which is a, something that happens a lot in this zoo, which I really like. Like, as you yeah. mentioned, all the winding paths, like... Yeah, exactly, because you're used to Big Zabergo, which has a lot of space, but a lot of unused space, because that's the vibe you're going for, the very big, mm -hmm. open uh, forest kind of thing. But here, yeah. every inch of land is used, and I love yeah. that. Yeah, it's jam-packed and... Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. He got scared of my microphone, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a fan. Um, yeah. I've never heard them grow like that. Yeah, me neither. I mean, to be fair, this was also That's one of the first scary. times I've heard them do the little whining, which we heard earlier. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they were just having their little snack. Wild dogs are awesome. They're great. Yeah. They're definitely one of my f favorite canines i'd say oh yeah totally i just love how varied their spots can get like at big yeah. and you have the ones that are almost entirely golden mm -hmm. and these have a lot of white mm -hmm. yeah super neat 
So yeah, um, then I don't have a lot else to say about them. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know what to say about them. Their ears, they're great. The they're tail, great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> they're just awesome. Look at them. <laughs> Look at how yeah. nimble they are in getting the meat off of that bone. <laughs> yeah, wild dogs are great. I would, I would pet one, and they would bite yeah. my hand off. Yeah, I, would, <laughs> I don't think I would, that's the and best. And I would side. respect that. <laughs> yeah, I would thank them for it. Um, yeah, oh, so we're gonna oh, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take an adventure trail because because this one didn't seem to cause me to skip anything. <laughs> yeah. Where does it even go? This goes through the bamboo. Man. And there's Exciting a lot of times. and there's a lot of mud on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I almost slipped there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is crazy. I oh, didn't. Yeah. I didn't know what I saw here. <laughs> I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah. Like, I I guess they just vibe, but like, yeah, it's uh, they're just there. <laughs> they're just there. They're just there. And like that's bleed. that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's crazy. Like, like I, I guess there's shock wire, but it's so yeah, there's low. A, there's a little bit. I I guess camels just don't raise their legs that much. Yeah, maybe? I, I guess so. And I guess it doesn't matter that much if a camel. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, like I guess there's not that many species you would want to do this with. <laughs> <laughs> no. Camels are a good shout. But yeah, it's definitely a, a cool experience. Like it's not something I'm gonna forget anytime soon. And yeah. <laughs> We have another little island, actually two islands that are connected through some logs. And this is for a uh, crown lemur. But uh, they were they were a no show oh. as well. They were they were enjoying the indoor probably, which uh, is a bummer. But yeah. I didn't know there was a viewing point over here for those. Yeah. Or well, maybe I just don't remember. But <laughs> <You're probably> <laughs> great. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little gate over there. I don't know where that goes exactly. Oh, we'll never know. We'll never know. Here we are at the uh, the Red River Hogs. Oh, obviously. Beautifully messy habitat. Yeah, that's great. I love all exhibits for hogs and peccaries. They're all just or peccaries, whatever they're called. <laughs> they always look great. Just a mess of dirt. I love that. Yeah, and everything is like you you can yeah. tell like everything around the sides is all dug up and because yeah, that's just what they do <laughs> and they they came they came to say hi <laughs> i love the little noises yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's great what does bakes back uh, house them uh, house them with again banded uh, with the 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 banded mongoose yeah it's a cool combination yeah i i always like to call it Bootleg Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is an animal that I didn't oh, yeah. know I was going to see. And when I saw this indoor area, I immediately knew what it was going to be. <laughs> even though they weren't inside at first. But yeah, it's Pygmy Hippo. They're cool. They are so cute. <laughs> um, I'd never seen them. Uh, every time I went to Blydorp, I missed them somehow. So I was ecstatic yeah. to see them. I was like, oh, this is, yes, hello. Oh, do you have three of them? No, uh, I, I stitched the footage together. Yeah. <laughs> they were they were outside at first, and then later in the day they were inside. Okay. So uh, this it's is a pretty that. exhibit. Yeah, yeah, lots of water, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Um, they weren't inside it because it was probably cold as balls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I mean, I think he walked in. Yeah, he walked in here. Poor just, thing. <laughs> just a nice open lake and uh, yeah, it's great. A bit of land in the back. And I love all these little fences and just the yeah. entire like that's the thing. the The entire park feels really cared for. 
Exactly. Uh, I think it's Every, something you said as well. Yeah, everything they build is just thought out. That's great. They think about everything they build. It's cool. Just not only the exhibits need to look great the entire the paths and stuff. It's all just one big experience. Because like you said, they want to tell a story and that's really, really cool. And this one will have to go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his... Oh, that's not his eye. Oh, no, it's his ear probably. Yeah. <laughs> and when they open their mouth, you can see a bit of their, uh, their tusks. Yeah, they're fucking scary. <laughs> I mean, they're so cute. If they are. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> They could rip your arm off. <laughs> Probably, and I would let them. <laughs> just like the wall. I don't think you should be around animals a lot. Because <laughs> you would let them all just rip you apart. Yeah. Well, Do they just have white spots near their eyes? I guess. If, yeah, or or the it's other one like, had it as well. Or it's like a. I know elephants. Uh, I know male elephants get a substance there whenever they're. Uh, it's it's uh, it's time. You know. Oh, really. <laughs> That's interesting. So. I get that as well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, that would be really weird. Yeah, so here okay, we another have adventure the, path. The, the, the tiniest adventure path. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to balance. I don't, Such I a low I... effort way for a zoo to make you happy. It's so cool, though. <laughs> it's just so much fun. And I don't care that I'm an adult. <laughs> it's fun. Good. But yeah, here we have the, uh, the crown lemurs again. Doing a 360, because <laughs> why not? <laughs> it's a pirouette um, in the middle of the zoo. <laughs> and I think this... That b b bunch of bamboo we just saw was the uh, the spider monkeys again. Because oh, we're yeah, kind of looping, uh, looping back in on that yeah. right now. But yeah, here we can see the crown lemur. They are cool. That is all we can see of them, though. To the sign. It's a shame. <laughs> Um, and if we go to the right over here, we also have a little closer view of them, if they were yeah. there. Uh, and there's, I guess, koi? Koi carpers? Uh, yeah, all the koi water fish, is in fish in them, I believe. Oh. Not koi, probably, but they all have Some very fish. large fish. But yeah, here you can uh, feed them, if there of would course. be food in there. <laughs> so it's just a little extra... Point. They have um, so many lemurs over here. So many what? Sorry? Lemurs. Lemurs, yeah. yeah. They've got like four different species. Yeah, I believe so. I Which think is five? Or do they not have Don't they have an extra exhibit in a second with black lemurs? Uh well like they were in the main area, so What? No? No, the, that's no. with a black and white rust. I'm talking just black lemurs. Oh, no, I haven't seen oh, those. I'm, I'm mixing up my zoos, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, here we have the um, indoor view of the spider monkeys. Th look at them! That's a monstrosity. <laughs> <laughs> I so tails the, just the creep me out. The windows were a bit fogged up and stuff, so I couldn't get a great view, but I over here, there was some fun stuff. So, oh, here they are, man. being a bit curious. No. <laughs> No, oh. I don't like. Oh God! <laughs> what's what's wrong with them? They're cute. They're oh, Yeah, maybe they are a bit. They're, they're cute. Also very scary. Oh, no, just look at those! Just, look at those adorable teeth. Nah, they're just scary. <laughs> Man, the tail! Yeah. I don't like the tail at all. Yeah, they. It's just another it, arm. It is another arm. Yeah, it's that's crazy. true. Just the way they move around as well, it's insane. I mean, I guess they're called spider monkeys for a reason. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I love this little building. Like, the two... I, w I don't want to say dome, but dome-like yeah. structure. It's very interesting shape. It is. Um, and then you have the two holding areas and then the, the big holding <laughs> area in the middle. A nice ladder. Yeah. Just uh, some zookeeper shenanigans. <laughs> It's one of those playground cards. Great. If it works, it oh. works. So here you can see um, <laughs> kind of <laughs> some ma some maintenance things taking place. So the the thing goes open and uh, and they head in. Look at the way okay. it just grabs yeah. the rope. No, yeah, man. To be fair, I'll, I'll give you that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another arm. It's so cool, but it's also really scary. 
Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> but yeah, here is um, another, another nice view of their, That's a nice their main habitat. And the little plank that I guess zookeepers can use to get onto the island if they need to. I Stop. love all the turns you do, it's great. I'm just trying to capture everything again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, here you can kind of see the shape uh, of that building. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's rough, cool. but it's meant to be rough, so yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's, 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 that's theming. It's theming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, this uh, here I almost walked the wrong way. Because oh, no. I didn't realize that I, it looped in on itself again. So I was like, oh, hey, the, the, the main route is this way. <laughs> I guess I have to go you this way. But then I realized, wait, no, I've already been here. <laughs> so we go back uh, to the uh, to the main entrance. It's just a row of houses over there. It's great. Yeah, I mean, it's the edge. I, I'm guessing maybe they would... Would they let, like just let ivy and stuff grow over the... Perimeter fence. I feel like the perimeter fence is relatively new Kinda in some shit. places still. Is this fume point? Oh, the pelicans, right? This yeah. is the pelicans, yeah. This is the. Um, I wrote it down. <laughs> uh, this is the Dalmatian pelican. And in the back over there, we also see the Australia area once again. Ah. Which is pretty neat. I love the nest. It's huge. Yeah. Pelicans are just huge as well. Yeah, we also have an egret. <laughs> <laughs> I think a blue egret in the back. Fun. Who is not part of the zoo, but <laughs> just five in there. Just a um, like you. And yeah, then over here is another uh, little primate area, which I think the pelicans can get to. Which is interesting, because it's the same body yeah, of water. These are the black lemurs, right? Uh, oh, maybe that's it. Maybe it's been changed, because these are now black howlers. I guess it's been uh, it's been South American okay, uh, South American a fight. Oh, fun! Oh, I'm excited for for what it's called again. Madidi. Madidi. Yeah, because yeah, basically we've we've entered Madidi now, um, oh. but it's not really the official yeah, entrance. Is, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we have a little. I love the painted wood and stuff on here. Yeah, and you can see some of the posters. Those are the Madidi yeah. posters, which are so cool. Um, yeah, just when I went there yeah. and they had the big concept art map of the uh, mm -hmm. area, it just looks amazing. Yeah, so here's some more squirrel monkeys. I don't know if these are the same species. I think they are. Um, so I guess they're just in two Probably. habitats. But someone just woke up and it's the uh, the not-so-black howler monkey. Yeah, the females are. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. There she is. Maybe I'm just dumb because uh, black lemurs are also, uh, the males are black and the females are orange, so they probably just were already these hollow <laughs> monkeys. I'm just remembering one. Oh, you there had, she is. You had her attention. Yeah. There's actually <laughs> a sign there, so they are fairly new because there was still a sign here like, don't make any loud noises, please. They're still uh, getting used to their habitat. Yeah, well, my DD got opened when uh, the zoo closed down, right? Roughly around I, that time. I don't suppose. Really I've seen a lot of people, yeah. But yeah. Oh. Just a little interviewing of them. Yeah, it's a cool indoor exhibit as well. I yeah, like that. just all the frames. I like yeah, the, how the roof goes yeah, through the glass, actually. That's once really cool. again, the, uh, the reverse habitat immersion. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. Yep. So yeah, I think I think it's Madidi time. <laughs> Exciting. Are you, are you, are it's you, fun how here in real life in Ovalon it's uh, it's it's reverse habitat. Uh, what do you call it again? Reverse habitat. Like I immersion. Think expedition. <laughs> yeah. So if you <laughs> if you put the roof through the glass in here or the overlock through the glass in here, it's it's a very fancy uh, reverse uh, habitat engineering and stuff and in planet zoo it's just clipping yeah right <laughs> and if you say no no it's supposed to be there yeah sure <laughs> sure <laughs> no one will believe you that's a very good excuse to use now no mm -hmm. i was just uh, using very <laughs> interesting zoo techniques 
Oh, this yeah. is the Australia area. Yeah, this is the Australia area. Just a little peek. What here <laughs> is, uh, this is the main aviary, which... Freaking bird flew. <laughs> I hate oh it. man, of course it's closed. The yeah, aviary is closed. That's a shame. <laughs> it is. But yeah, look at these posters. Yeah, that's cool. I love all the Madidi posters. But here we have... Uh, this, this is what I was talking about earlier. That's one of those signs that's like... This is the end of the walking route. Please <laughs> turn around if you want to have the good experience. Uh, and then here we have... Uh, actually, it's not over here, but just showing it. Yeah, uh, look at this, this was the this was the concept art. So here we go. Oh. This is the end of the zoo over there. You have the, the playground at the end of the zoo, but that's not what we're here for. Absolutely we're going not. into we're going into Medidi. Look at it. So yeah, definitely best for last, I would say. <laughs> Oh, I'm uh, excited. Bienvenidos. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the Portuguese. first animal we see is meerkat. Yes, <laughs> they still have this exhibit. <laughs> it, oh man. This and that's something so cool about the country thing. This is the first time I've seen a zoo say these animals don't belong to this. Thing. They're being moved <laughs> soon. <laughs> These animals are not part of South America. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, just the fact that they care about that experience to yeah, the point good. where they, yeah, they inform you like you know these animals aren't <laughs> part of it. <laughs> I really like that. Um, it just, yeah, I've, as I said before, it just has so much educational value to see everything together yeah. um, how they belong simply put so yeah and it just shows they care this sign kind of shows that as well they really lean into it here uh, welcome to Madidi join us on our expedition and it shows you They're so pretty. Uh, some things about the new world about South America um, <laughs> our colonial history Yikes. Fun. <laughs> um, but then it shows you a map of South America and kind of the, the route that this expedition is going to be taking. Oh, they do that? And it shows you all the different biomes you can uh, encounter, like the tropical rainforest, grasslands, yeah. wetlands, uh, Atlantic woods, mountains, deserts, forests, just all the different areas and species and where you can find them, how it all fits together. This is great. It is so cool. This just gets you, gets you all excited. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, on the other side as well, there's even more, the wetlands and yeah, it's just a lot of information about the the continent and the not not necessarily the animals, but just the the biomes and the the habitat in the wild. There's uh, so many animals in here as well. This area. It's 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 really it's jam packed. I mean, of course, Great. they're also mentioning like the the gold belly uh, capuchin. Oh yeah. So like, it also kind of pulls in the rest of the zoo in a way. Um, <laughs> and then three habitats we don't show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have these, but you know they exist. They exist. <laughs> they're part of it. Oh, let's go. In, they're part of it in spirit. Let's go to the top. And first we're gonna look at the aviaries close, cause that's... <laughs> first we're gonna look at your feet. <laughs> first we, yeah, so first the, the normal route would bring you to the aviary. Uh, and you would enter kind of the greenhouse you can see in the back. Uh, through the aviary. But sadly the aviary is closed, so you just have to oh, go go in and out of the, uh, the exit. But here we have a Chilean flamingo. Sovereign screamers. <laughs> Uh, and the common teal, as well as puna ibis and white-faced whistling ducks. Just uh, a whole bunch of birds. And there's some black swan, which are Look lovely. Look at all the rocks. So, yeah. That is a lot of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it rocks. 
Oh god, no. Oh god, no, not another <laughs> pun one he thinks. You've been you've been hanging out too much with Eben. <laughs> no. No, this is how Eben and I bonded. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, look at it, it's yeah. great. Yeah, I love the sort of dynamic shape of the avian yeah. as well. It's not like it looks kind of straight from some angles, but over here it's very like round edges. I mean, as round as you can get with netting. But uh, this is the outdoor area for the uh, the tamandua and tamandua? the uh, agudi as well as the titi monkey. And over here is a little educational area where there's a news broadcast that is talking about uh, <laughs> deforestation and yeah, why is deforestation happening? Uh, mostly like farming, uh, mostly farming food for the meat industry, which is really kind of bummer. <laughs> yeah, they're not even farming food for humans. No, they're farming food for the humans' food. <laughs> Uh, and that's why we're losing like a couple of football fields a minute of rainforest. Great, that's insane. love it. Oh, there are the uh, nandus. Uh, well, these are the dwarf nandus. Oh, they have both. That's cool. Yeah. Or these are like the Darwin's nandu. Yeah. Oh, look, the indoor exhibit is made out of logs. Yeah. On the left, that's cool. Don't see it right now, but there we go. Uh, we might in a bit. Hello. Oh, nope. Uh, but this is also the outdoor area of the giant oh. anteater. So cool. you can actually see some of the uh, termite mounds and stuff in there as well. So here I was not sure which way I had to go <laughs> because of the, the change of route. But here we have another look at the, uh, the Tamandu and the Agudi. It's still a bit air but I think that's better in the summer probably and obviously and all of the plants are still growing summer. and stuff yeah I love the path over here just the the cracked kind of temple like yeah, gorgeous. thing and all the foliage around it yeah over there you can see the uh, habitat kind of goes under the path in the back Fun. Uh, oh, that's cute and here we go. <laughs> the very modern glass cake. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the indoor area. Oh. I mean, they have to keep the heat. <laughs> yeah. And so you can see immediately my lens <laughs> fogging oh, up. Oh no. Uh, I never experienced this before, so. Not a tamandua. That's fun. Yeah, you saw him for a split second. Uh, I had to constantly wipe my lens clean here. Yeah. <laughs> so the food is just a bit. If now, you do, you, do you wear glasses? I luckily I don't. Oh, lucky you, because Burke's <laughs> bush and stuff is <laughs> it's a mess. Yeah. But here we can see the time I do it. Just, he was climbing around yeah, all great. day. He was oh, just... That was a TT monkey. Uh, but yeah, the time I do it was just all over the place all day long. It was That's fun, fun also the to first see. time you've seen those, isn't it? Um, I think... I d I don't, I'm not sure if Best has them. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. They do? Okay, then I have seen them. But yeah. <laughs> he even climbs on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, what? He doesn't care. Yeah, these are fenced in uh, from the <laughs> from the rest of the indoor area. Um, the uh, indoor sense. area does have a walkthrough section, but these guys aren't part of it. So, and here we have the agudi, <laughs> which have climbed up on this little <laughs> thing here. They're great. That They're like m miniature capybara or yeah. something. <laughs> Or maybe, goodies are great. I mean, capybara are just big rodents, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're cute. They are. Hello. It's suddenly very quiet. Yeah, this is, I think I recorded <laughs> this with my phone instead, because my camera was <laughs> fucking off. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you can see just a little, little I, I love all the just natural climbing things of this area. Yeah. Just using real logs and stuff like that. And yeah, here we have the, the TT monkey once again. And that's pretty much it, so... Nope. <laughs> you see, I, I have to constantly wipe my thing. But... I, I don't know why I thought it was funny to keep that in. <laughs> oh, this is cool. But here we have a spectacled caiman, a red-bellied piranha. Yeah, with piranhas. Habitat. 
So you can see all the piranha, and there we have a caiman. Oh, right there. <laughs> Hello. And there seems to be like sewer pipes, like yeah. sewer sewer lids in there. I don't know if they have a function or if they're aesthetical. I think they're aesthetical. I always think they are aesthetical. But this is pretty cool. I love. Look at how the piranha yeah, they casts uh, that too, because there's like lights in there, and sometimes the piranha will cast shadows onto the caiman. Oh, that's fun. Uh, is really cool. <laughs> but yeah, just all the natural ro or the faux rocks and yeah, all these trees and it's really yeah, neat. It's pretty. Oh, so the over here we too. have just just in the middle. Just a tiny red-footed tortoise habitat. That's great. Uh, and oh, that's here, really once great. again, just just like with the, um, the yeah, with the fossas. Yeah, just like with the fossas, there's a little river going past the oh, uh, tortoises and going into the next habitat. Um, is this all beyond tortoises? And uh, th this is for the red-footed tortoise. Oh man, that's. Oh no oh, no! Like it's on the right it's being it's, it's being clop blocked off over here. Uh, oh. what, what we saw on this side is the capybara and the ah. giant anteater indoor area. Oh fun! Just so the capybaras are also in the in the Darn Rhea exhibit, um, or do they have two I, exhibits with giant anteaters? It's one of the two. Okay. I, <laughs> I think it's the latter. Okay. <laughs> but. Because oh, this is cool. Yeah, we once again also have like a river going through the through the yeah. center here. Oh, the very techy paintings on the walls. It's <laughs> great. Yeah, <laughs> and here we Lovely. have the capybara just enjoying their uh, poop water. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think this is it, this was being filled up or something. I feel like there should be uh, more water in here. Uh, God, normally. The left is zoning out. Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> there he is. But yeah. <laughs> Literally oh. drinking poop. But here we have the giant anteaters, which um, had a little offspring, I think, That's last cool. year. So I think one of these two is the offspring. I'm not sure. If I'm That's honest. Cool. But there's two lying on top of each other. Yeah. So <laughs> it's adorable. Really cool animal. Loved seeing this yeah, one. Yeah, there. Oh, he's still. <laughs> What? You saw them active? I saw them active because that I never think, happens. I think they took away the juvenile to oh do a God. checkup or something. So I think this is the mother uh, walking Look around them. waiting for them to give her baby back. <laughs> Antitus are so weird. Yeah. Look at them. <laughs> they shouldn't that, exist. That giant tail. Yeah. It's crazy. Like the tail is the size of their body because of all the hair. So cool. Oh, it's cool to see them active. You yeah. never see that. Do they walk? Yeah, they walk on the top of their hands, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, I think somewhere behind those doors, they were doing <laughs> it. I, I heard one of the zookeepers say, Ew, I got an eater spit on me. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what they were doing. Um... <laughs> But yeah. Oh. Oh. She's breaking in. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> You're keeping her child hostage. Yeah. Um, so, that's uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I, I might have to cut out some of this because it's going on a little long. <laughs> no, but it's I good. was, it's I was just like, is. oh my god, look at how close she got. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I love all of the rocks. Yeah. There's. And you love the paintings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do. It but works. it transitions really nicely from mm -hmm. the fox rocks to the real plants to the fake plants in the background. It works. Yeah. So over here we have a uh, little terrarium for a boa constrictor. Oh, fun! Just a fun little addition. And um, I think it arrived uh, last week, but it wasn't there yet while I was here. Oh. Uh, there's an, a second terrarium for. Uh, a curly hair tarantula. Oh, fun. <laughs> uh, and there was also going to be a lemur leaf frog, but it was also still closed. But it's 
already being used in all the education stuff. So here, once again, a little bit of interactive education about all the layers of... Wait a second, that's not a two-toed sloth. That's three-toed sloth. Uh-oh. It, it does say two... Oh, man. It does say two-toed It literally has three toes <laughs> on uh -oh. the painting. I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell the education <laughs> <Yeah>. manager. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I have to double check, but... Bush dogs are great. Yeah. So, you should, you should yeah, yeah, you can see the lemur leaf uh, frog. You haven't yes. been to CISO, right? Not yet, no. You should absolutely go. I'm going this Friday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, good. <laughs> um, yeah, oops. Oh, so God. this is the bummer about this sort of interactive education. Is yeah, that you have to put everything back. You have to put everything back or else you <laughs> kind of ruin it for everyone else. Like, at least there's the ropes to tell you <laughs> where to put them. I love the drawing. It's yeah, cool. the drawings are great. Cool art style. But yeah, it talks about like oh, all the layers of the forest and uh, where you can kind of find what, usually. So, another view of the tortoises. So, it's not that big, it's just a little this section. This is like my favorite exhibit of a zoo. Look at it. I just love how detailed it is with the rocks mm -hmm. and the. The there's just stuff. There's just the stuff everywhere. The, uh, it is like clutter, but it's yeah, it all makes clutter. sense, you know. Yeah, and over here there's like again the reverse habitat immersion for the people who don't want to go inside, but of course we do. <laughs> so just look at that path with all the cracks and. Uh, oh my god! So it's a cool. walkthrough exhibit with sloths. Oh. It's a oh. walkthrough exhibit oh. with uh, the the gold lion tamarin. The white faced Saki and the, the two toed sloth. You just walked straight into heaven. Oh my god. Mm. That's great. Yeah. So. The sloth, as you can imagine, is <laughs> not, was sleeping. not really around. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. Um, but to be, to be expected. If, if you wanna. I'll, I'll give a little teaser for next episode. Um, but in Amersfoort. They were very active because it's a oh night house there. Good. I've never been to Amersfoort, so I'm yeah. excited for that it's video. A, it's a it's a walk through, also sloths, uh, but in a night house setting. Good. So, uh, but yeah, here we have the gold lion tamarin, also really cool animal. Yeah. They are. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, and yeah, just again all the natural climbing frames. These guys also have an outdoor area as well which also walk through it's part of that aviary oh. um, of course we couldn't get there and there we have the white face sake uh, fun little fact is uh, the, the white face sake is actually the animal that this zoo is the species coordinator of so they manage the breeding program of the white face sake interesting so that's fun not a very white face going on over there, but... <laughs> I, I think the white face is, is just those two stripes. <laughs> oh no, wait, never mind. I just looked at the picture. <laughs> 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 I guess it's just an older one? Yeah, I guess so. Looks like a bin to run, but a very agile <laughs> Almost. One. And there we oh, have it. <gasps> it's awake! That is the most it did all day. Oh, we could see it. We could see the two toes. <laughs> yeah, you must have gotten very excited there. You're like, oh, yeah. it's, it's awake. <laughs> yeah, that's why oh, you can no. see how bad I am at recording it, because I was too excited. <laughs> <laughs> very if something's out of you, it means I was very excited and <laughs> not focusing on my camera that much. But yeah. So, also really cool. Um, so that, that water that we saw flowing around the tortoise habitat actually flows into this habitat and there's like two little bridges um, that help you cross it. Oh, yeah, here we have another view of the, the Cayman habitat. And I, I didn't really do a good job at recording that water, but here you can see it flows under this bridge and then through there. And That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, this is the best shot I had of the other bridge. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but yeah, you cross it twice, which it's just so cool. It just brings everything together and yeah, really immerses cool. you. So yeah, yeah <laughs> right across here. That's where the uh, the tree oh, frog yeah, the and the uh, 
the curly hair. Tarantula are gonna be. Fun. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, my when I was great. there, it was still like coming soon, but it's there now. So <laughs> if you go to the zoo now, you can see the tarantula. <laughs> Lucky you. Lucky you. There oh, that, that's, that's cool. There's a little water. They were cleaning as well, which uh, spooked one of the caiman, so that was <laughs> fun. <laughs> you don't get to see these guys no. do a lot very often, so when you do, you got to savor it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, so finishing off Medidi, there's also a bit more of an outdoor area. So we go back to that little education stand. And past the Darwin's Ria. And yeah, that, that shelter on the left is cool. Yeah, so it's oh, even it's, it's cooler than oh. you might think. It's a it truck. Is? It's a it's a little truck that's hauling all of this, these logs, yeah, and the logs actually have little flippy things. Oh. Got a lot of flippy things. It's oh. a whole bunch of facts <laughs> about deforestation. So things like oh, you should recycle. Oh, well, uh, Amazon is the biggest rainforest in the world. We have a little Our rotating disc, things. little Pac-Man disc. Uh, yeah. How much deforestation is happening on a yearly basis? We have uh, on the uh, entire globe, thirty-six football fields of forest disappear every day, or no, every minute. I think it says even. Which is just unfathomable. Yeah. <laughs> and then last but not least, don't eat meat. <laughs> don't Very eat good. meat. You'll help the rainforest. Very good. But yeah. Ah, oh, just look at these paths. Yeah. I love it so much. So, on the yeah. left here we have a little uh, petting zoo goat area. You gotta love those. I love how it looks like it has been here for years, but it's all mm -hmm. just a couple yeah, of months just old. Look at that! Oh yeah, here we have the nice oh, shot of the, uh, uh, the termite mount. But yeah, I think the paths really help with yeah, that. Help. It's so well done. It looks so weathered and awesome, and and all the corrugated sheets and yeah, it's so good. And the foliage has <laughs> really, really grown well. Yeah, it's it also them. helps very nicely. Yeah, here we have the bush dog. Oh, they do have bush dogs. And I think the bush dog is one of the animals that had offspring the week after I was here. Uh, <laughs> so uh, here you see them. They're they're cute. They are. This little 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 doggy boy. Look at him on top of his <laughs> shelter. <laughs> they're such weird animals too. I love them, but they're very odd. Like if you look at that, your instant reaction is not, oh yeah, that's a dog. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's like a tiny bear. It's yeah, it's more bear-like indeed. Yeah, it's really weird. But yeah, on the other side here, uh, so on the left now is the outdoor area of the bush dog. So just also nice, just these little logs and everything. Uh, and on the right here is the outdoor area of the capybara and the giant anteater so i think this is oh a yeah separate it's two exhibits down there. i think it is two exhibits yeah we've got another Fun. couple of termite mounds and oh, there's a bunch of stuff that's really big yeah it's really big and then a little shelter with a glass view as well <laughs> Fun. of course nothing's outside right now no. but yeah so that almost wraps it up. We got another few of the uh, the bush dogs, but yeah, and just the yeah. I was like, <laughs> the the path is kind of like slightly elevated from the sides. Oh, and they have like little uh, really animal paths in the ground. That's cool as well. Right yeah, there. yeah, that's all over the place that's, as well. That's fun. Like bird paws and yeah. just all sorts of things. It's so cool. So, just to knock everything off. Uh, <laughs> Here's a supermarket. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, this is an awesome bit of interactive education. Um, welcome to the Supermercado. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> it is a little South African. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, South African supermarket. We've got all these awesome little products. And there's these scanners. Okay, one of them is broken. Um, <laughs> but you can play a little game. <laughs> what? So we're going to do some shopping. Uh, you can take the little scanner and it's like, okay, scan two different types of tea. And I was just kind of looking around like, okay, which one should I scan? <laughs> it's these. Uh, but yeah, so you've got things like coffee, granola bars, chocolate things, fruits, peanut butter. It's all different products. And some of them have like fake labels that are like, oh, we're sustainable. And some of them just have like a lot of plants on the packaging to make it look like they're sustainable. Um, but they like lack the actual uh, uh, labels for them. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of the goal of the game, I guess, is to be as sustainable as possible. Uh, I just kind of scanned random, random stuff, uh, whichever worked. So it's like, oh, this tea is a sustainable kind, because you can actually see it has like the oh, little yeah. um, logo of the. I don't know which one that is actually, but isn't that the, no? I'm not sure. I can see. Yeah, I'll probably put it on screen or something. Yeah. But, yeah, scan a can of coffee and a can of tea. So, can <laughs> green tea. And it's like, oh, this is not a sustainable one. And they might have their own uh, label or their, or just a feel good image of a forest. But <laughs> in reality, it's all really bad. So, I think the, the goal is definitely to be as sustainable as possible because at the end of the game it kind of gives you a summary of what you <laughs> did so how well did you do you're a horrible um, human being <laughs> you're a horrible the human being cool. but yeah some of the barcos didn't really work <laughs> some of the barcos didn't really work all the time it's it's a little jank oh, but i really like the idea of it it's really cool i love it when uh yeah this really goes the extra mile. I wonder how many people uh, would take the time to do all of this. Yeah, there's all the the little markers you should be looking for in real life as well, of course. But yeah, I wonder how many people would actually take the time to do this. Uh, of course, I'm super interested in it, so I do. But for the average guest, I'm not sure. I think for children, it's fun. Yeah, that's true. And that's also the the demographic. <laughs> Definitely. Not the yeah. very sad twenty-something year old uh, zoo fans like us. We're not the demographic. This is the I'm end of afraid. Medidi, so they tell you to oh. take the actual entrance. <laughs> and then over here we have a little petting petting zoo, which I'm I'm not sure. What, what's your opinion on petting zoos inside of zoos? I think it's great because all the. Uh, all the children will be over there instead of in the infrared <laughs> of the zoo, which means those will be quiet. That's so, also my opinion on playgrounds in zoos. I used to oh, hate yeah. them, but now I enjoy them because... Yeah, I, was, I was just doing a little double take to see if it was allowed to <laughs> pet them. <laughs> just to be safe. It is uh, just fun to pet pygmy goats, let's be real. It is, pygmy but I do have to say, I understand, because uh, Beeksberg got rid of theirs. Uh, I understand the sentiment of we don't want to have yeah. to explain to children like you can pet the goats but not the lemurs. <laughs> yeah, I understand that that's hard for a kid to understand, yeah. so you might as well <laughs> Look at him. get rid of the goats. He <laughs> wanted to be petted so bad. He came up all the way. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's fun. But I mean, yeah, I get why. Yeah, I do. Kind it, of. It's, it sends the wrong message, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But hey, they're there. I love them. <laughs> they're adorable. <laughs> We're not complaining. We're not complaining. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that That's pretty much it. Um, we're going uh, ah. past the playground to the exit. So, any final thoughts? Anything you want to. Medidi is great. Medidi is great, yeah. And I can't wait to see it in summer when everything is all lush and green again. Yeah. Because as good as 
Ovalone uh, still looks in this video. <laughs> it does look a little bit depressing in the. Uh, yeah, you will have that with Annie. You have that with Annie too. Yeah, obviously. Uh, as I said, next episode is Amersfoort. Um, the the Dino Force is just <laughs> so plain. <laughs> Man, the Dino Force is depressing in general. <laughs> I hate Shit. it when Zoo, you, you've been to Olimator, right? <laughs> <laughs> they do that too, it's so horrible. Uh, um, no, I'm, I'm, I, I do have a fun guest planned for Amersfoort. Uh, it's oh a dino God. expert, so uh, oh God. Uh, we'll see what he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you we'll making an Olimator uh, video as well? Because you've been I'm there planning like, on it. I'm you planning were on there it. a couple days ago, right? Because I saw yeah. the, the bats <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know who's gonna guest in it, but we'll see. That's well, exciting. Yeah. So, going through the uh, through the shop here, we are at our end. Uh, I absolutely love the zoo. It's Good. definitely one of my favorites. Can't wait Told to go you. here in the summer again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hope you got some awesome inspiration for your Planet Zoo builds as well from this. There was, uh, I think, a lot of cool stuff to take home. Look at those posters. I was. I can buy them. I was on the verge oh of buying one, but I don't have space for any more posters. But yeah, this Thank is the you. end. Thank you all so much for <laughs> for tuning in. Uh, of course, we had to end on a red panda. But, Obviously. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, go check out Lukoshi. I don't know if he will ever make a video again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But thank you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me on, in general. Yeah, no, this was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why Nikoshi was a guest, he said that this is his favorite Dutch shoe, so that was it reason. Is. <laughs> that was his. That was for me a reason enough to to invite him. Um, <laughs> Good. And yeah, I'll try to to find a fitting guest. Oh god, the video ended. <laughs> we're out of video. Okay, we have to end off. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.